Dear brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Praise the Lord is the time to read Bible. We will continue on Matthew chapter 1. Today we will go through verse 17 to 18. The book of Matthew begin with the genealogy of Jesus. From Abraham to the birth of Jesus Christ. After Matthew had recorded the genealogy, he made a conclusion in verse 17. So all the generation from Abraham to David are, are 14 generations. Abraham was the first one who received God's calling. He was, he was the called race. The first part of the genealogy had ended at King David. Therefore, God's will is that everyone who received the calling should become a king, should become a king ultimately. How long is needed to be a king? Fourteen generations. Fourteen is a special number, seven times two. Number seven is considered to be the number of the spiritual perfection in the time. And the number two is the testimony, which is when the time is completed. Through the testimonies, there will be a result. Back to the history of the, of the Old Testament. There were 14 generations in all from Abraham to David. There were also three Gentile women were recorded. So the calling for Abraham is also the salvation to all people on earth. And all people on earth will be blessed through Abraham. Then the second part of the genealogy was from King David and ended at, and ended at the carrying away to Babylon. The Holy Spirit recorded it very meaningful. We knew Saul was the first king of Israel, but David was the one God pleased. David was from the tribe of Judah. So the Holy Spirit recorded him as the first king of Israel. Israel has reached to its highest position after David's son Solomon built the temple to worship, to worship God. All the Gentile kings came to visit the kingdom, the kingdom of Israel. However, the descendants of David did not follow his path. They left the Lord's command. The last king had been recorded was, was Josiah because Matthew recorded the genealogy according to the leading of the Holy Spirit, not by the history. So some kings had been deleted. From David to Josiah, they were 14 generations as well. However, David had been counted twice. He was the ending of the first part of the genealogy, and he was also the beginning of the second part of the genealogy. In verse 17, Matthew did not mention, did not mention Josiah did not mention Josiah's name. Instead, he said, 14 generations from David to the carrying away to Babylon. Actually, actually, it was not only 14 generations, but the Holy Spirit only recognized the 14 generations. Therefore, for the first part of the genealogy, God's will is that every believer becomes a king. For the second part of the genealogy, even though every believer will be a king, we still have things outward and the seeing inward so that we cannot sit on the thrones forever. We need redemption. 
It also tells us God's promise to David is that his throne is his kingdom will be forever. Sorry, God's promise to David is that his throne of his kingdom will be forever. His descendants will succeed him. However, God's promise to David was not fulfilled in the Old Testament. The one who will succeed David to be the king forever is Jesus Christ, because if there is no redemption, no one will sit on the throne forever. Therefore, the second part of the genealogy began with King David, and ended. At the carrying away to Babylon, they became civilians, no more kings. Then, from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ, are fourteen generations as well. It began with Jeconiah, and ended as Jesus Christ. However, the Holy Spirit did not mention. Did not mention Jeconiah's name here. It was recorded as the carrying away into Babylon. We have mentioned yesterday that Jeconiah and his descendants will not prosper in their lifetime. None will sit on the throne of David or rule any more in Judah. However, the Holy Spirit kept. Working on them, Cyrus, king of Persia, helped them to return, and Zerubbabel was one of the leaders to build the altar of the God of Israel, to sacrifice burnt offering on it. Also, those who had been carried away to Babylon returned to Jerusalem. To to Jerusalem and Judah, there were fourteen generations of faithful Israelites in Judah, until Mary gave birth to Jesus Christ. Therefore, from Abraham to Jesus in the book of Matthew was forty two generations. The first fourteen generations inspires God's will. The second fourteen generations inspires. Inspires the redemption, the redemption of the Holy Son Jesus Christ, and the third and fourteen generation inspires the Holy Spirit kept working. Even though the Israelites had been carrying away to Babylon, the Lord still, the Lord still kept His remnant for the birth of Jesus Christ. Three fourteen generations totally equals forty two generations, which is a special number that from God called Abraham to end to end it, to end the Old Testament and to start the New Testament. It look forty. It took forty two generations. The principle of number forty-two was also recorded in Numbers chapter thirty-three. Moses led the Israelites. Moses led the Israelites set out from Ramesses, Egypt. They had went through forty-two stages until they camped on the plains of Moab. Moab, in Numbers. In Numbers chapter three, verse forty-nine, the twelve, the forty-two stages indicate God prepared His people struggling in the desert. All generation of Israelites died in the desert, and the new generation of Israelites was ready to enter into the promised land. So God's work among the Israelites had a new beginning. The forty-two generations in the book of Matthew starts the New Testament. In addition, in Revelation eleven verse two and three, after the sixth seal is opened, 
but is excluded the outer the out the outer courts do not measure it because it has been given to the Gentiles. They will tram they they will trample on the holy city for forty two months, and I will give power to my two witness, and they will prophesy for one thousand two hundred sixty days, clothed in sackcloth, because they are thirty days a month in Jewish calendar. One thousand two hundred sixty days are forty two months, and the sixth seal is opened. At the moment, all the overcomers will be risen. God will send His two witnesses to watch the remnant in the great tribulation. In the great tribu- tribulation for forty two months, until the millennium. The genealogy of Jesus in Matthew began with Abraham until the birth of Jesus. There were a total of forty two generations. Let's read eight verse eighteen. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. It was Jewish custom that after engaged. They had to be pure purity until the wedding day, and to come together. However, in the meanwhile, Mary was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Matthew recorded it very simple, only a sentence, but Luke recorded it carefully. In the Luke chapter one and two. How Mary was with child through the Holy Spirit. In addition, her re- relative Elizabeth was going to have a child in her old age, gave birth to John the Baptist. When Mary visited Elizabeth, she strengthened Mary's faith. However, Matthew only recorded it in one sentence. He did not mention the details. It was extraordinary that Mary was with with child through the Holy Spirit, after Adam and Eve fell. When the Lord God judged the serpent, He also promised her. He also promised her offspring will crush the serpent's head. After four thousand years, God used Mary. God used a virgin Mary, and through the Holy Spirit, she was found to be ch- to be with child. However, the test. However, the terminology of the Holy Spirit was not used in the Old Testament. There are the Spirit of God, which indicate to the creation of God, also the Spirit of the Lord. In the Old Testament, when the Bible mentioned the relationship between God and the people, the Spirit of God and the Spirit of the Lord came to someone, but did not rest upon him. So when God wants to use a prophet, the Spirit of God came to him so that he could speak for God, and even showed miracles. But if the spirit of God left, he did not have the ability anymore. In the Old Testament, there are only three places that the spirit of God indicate indicated to the Holy Spirit. First is first is in Psalm fifty one verse eleven. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. In Hebrew, it is the spirit of the holiness. The second is in Isaiah sixty-three verse ten, and the third place is in verse eleven. 
Both the Holy Spirit also means the Spirit of the Holiness. Holy is the attribute of God. So these three places emphasized God's attribute of holy. It also means in the Old Testament, the Spirit of God did not rest upon people. The first time the Holy Spirit has been mentioned is in Matthew chapter 1. The Holy Spirit rested upon Mary, upon the Virgin Mary, and she was with child through the Holy Spirit. It was a sign. It fulfilled Genesis 3, the offspring of woman, in addition, fulfilled the promise in Isaiah 7. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son. When Jesus Christ came from a virgin, why Jesus Christ came from a virgin? Because after the fall of man, everyone is with sin. Therefore, Mary was with sin as well. If Mary was with child through another sinful nature, the child was with, with sin also, and he could not be a scapegoat. God had his new plan. He used a virgin, Mary, to have a child through the Holy Spirit. Paul also taught us in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 45, The first man, Adam, became a living being, which also recorded in Genesis 2. The last Adam, the last Adam, a life-giving spirit. The last Adam indicates to Jesus Christ. In the beginning, the, the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nose the breath of life. And the man became a life being or a living soul. However, after the fall of man, God did not give up his people. He had chosen a virgin, Mary, to have child through the Holy Spirit. The child was the last Adam. First Corinthians, first, first Corinthians 15 verse 47 the first man was was of the dust of the earth, the second man from heaven. The first man is a collective noun, means all people are from Adam. So he was the first Adam. In addition, Jesus Christ was the last Adam. It is also a collective noun, means some people were from him. The first was the first man was of the dust of the of the earth, but the second man from heaven. However, the man who came from the last Adam should go through a certain process. First, sin should be dealt with. He was crucified on a cross and became the scapegoat. He then resurrected from the death and became the new creation. So the second man will come from the new creation. Therefore, the second man will have the same attribute like the last Adam. Dear brothers and sisters, Jesus was from a virgin Mary. She was with child through the Holy Spirit. So those who receive the salvation also have the new life through the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ was the first one who had the Holy Spirit rested upon him. His whole life on the earth was related to the Holy Spirit. He had to be covered by the Holy Spirit before his service on the earth. Matthew chapter 3 verse 16 as soon as Jesus was baptized, the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. Likewise, after Jesus resurrected from the death, 
he appeared to his disciples in John twenty verse twenty two. He breathed on them and said, "Receive the Holy Spirit." Therefore, the Holy Spirit rested upon them because they continued Jesus' service on the earth. They also needed the Holy Spirit lighting on them. Acts two, verse one to four. When the day of Pentecost came, the disciples were all together. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire, that came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues. Even though Matthew simply recorded in one sentence. Mary was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. It shows us God's new plan and His new beginning that the Holy Spirit rested on us. The Holy Spirit rests upon us. The first person who had the Holy Spirit rested upon him was Jesus Christ. From him, we could see. We could see Emmanuel, which means God with us. After Jesus' service on the earth, he resur he was resurrected from the dead and then was taken up. His work on the earth will be continued by us, those who received the salvation until his second coming. Jesus Christ is the best testimony to us. Let's pray. O、oh、Lord, please give us the spirit of wisdom, and the revelation, that us understand the Holy Spirit rest upon us is a sign, because Jesus Christ was crucified on a cross, as the scapegoat, and the resurrected from the dead, so that we are able to receive the Holy Spirit because our faith. Let us understand the Holy Spirit. Let us have the mind controlled by the Holy Spirit, and follow the leading. Please bless my daily life. We pray. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.